My work at the Humane Society as a volunteer is usually a gamut of tons of duties. Um, there's always help that's needed in everything and it's either socializing with the animals and or cleaning the animals or their temporary housing. It can be helping with the clinic, it can be helping with the PR department, or it can be also outside of the shelter by helping out at the events by providing some information and or answering questions from the general public. What I enjoy most about volunteering at the San Antonio Humane Society is not also just obviously working with the animals but definitely being part of the community and the culture that comes with being a volunteer at the Humane Society. Well I think people should give their time and or donate to the Humane Society is because it's a wonderful mission that you're contributing to. When you are a volunteer you know that when the animals get through those doors and they are received into the San Antonio Humane Society that their life is a hundred times going to be better and it's because the vet care that they actually get while they're here even if there is nothing really wrong with them is exceptional so when bailey came to us and she had her broken front right leg um, that wasn't quite healed appropriately we brought her into surgery and because it wasn't healed quite appropriately we had to go in and re-break her leg which was quite unfortunate um, but with that we basically took a little piece of that bone away and we plated it and with that plate we took a little piece of her humerus or her upper right front leg and used that little bone graft to go in and help that lower leg heal so bailey's surgery without donor's support, depending on which vet you would go to, which private practice, could have cost anywhere from $5,000 to $7,000. We also have support through Michael's Medical Rescue Fund, and we also have special donors as well that contribute to our medical funds. Seeing Bailey in the condition that she, she was when she came in, and even um, after her first round of surgery, finding out that that was just a first step in a very lengthy process. It's, it's always incredible to see that the condition that some of the pets come in. And, and again, you have those, the, that emotion of, of, of just feeling helpless towards them and, and wanting to do what you can. But in the end, it, it usually always turns up that, that I'm going to them to help me out, you know, because of, of having these, uh, uh, a stressful day or, or even just uh, a negative interaction. Um, even when they have one leg casted or two legs casted or can barely even get up out of their bed, you know, that tail still starts wagging, you know, their tongue comes out and you can tell they're just, they're just genuinely happy. Part of our efforts at the San Antonio Humane Society and finding Bailey a home, as in with most pets uh, uh, in her similar situation, was through local media and uh, social media. And I think we're blessed as an organization to have the type of support and outreach that we do uh, because it was through those efforts that a uh, family out of New Braunfels was able to pick up her story and really start showing some interest in her. I would tell anyone looking who might be looking to get involved in animal welfare, whether it be through volunteering or uh, applying for a position that may be open, uh, donating or even adopting themselves, that uh, you know it can be a stressful environment. Um, you know, com compassion fatigue is very real, but as long as you're you're willing to keep the 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 mission and the the goal of what we're trying to achieve uh, in sight. It makes it that much more easier and rewarding. Here in San Antonio, there is a huge pet overpopulation problem, and it is really important for the community to understand that they can actually help in a lot of different ways. So whether it's maybe volunteering or fostering pets in need, there's so many different things that they can do. And those donation dollars go a long way to helping pets who need necessary surgery, vaccines, microchipping, all the services that we offer here at the San Antonio Maine Society. And unfortunately, while we do our best to intake as many pets as we can, there is never enough homes and there's never enough fosters and there's never enough time or care for our pets. And Bailey is a perfect example of one of those pets that came into our shelter that needed to take advantage of those services and through our support from our donors and our volunteers and of course our amazing foster families she was able to get everything that she needed before she went to her foster home and then once she went to her foster home then that just turned into an amazing adoption story she found her forever family and it all just worked out it was it was perfect without the san antonio humane society there would be thousands more pets homeless pets 
sick pets, injured pets on the streets of San Antonio. Without our supporters, we wouldn't be able to be here to do what we do for the pets in need. If we don't do it, nobody will, and that's why we need your help. I knew immediately when I saw her, she was gonna deal with whatever. You know, she just has that ability. Just because a dog isn't perfect and perfectly healthy, it doesn't mean that they can't have a perfectly healthy life. Both experiences that I've had with the Humane Society, Austin and San Antonio, were very positive. People need to understand that there are people who care, vets who care, staff who cares about these animals and that they give them that chance. I think too many dogs uh, are lost to uh, people not aware, maybe, uh, of the pro how, how much the dog brings to your family. I mean, some people aren't dog people, some are cat people, it doesn't matter, you know. But uh, we're dog people and, and they, they respond to that. They know these guys know <laughs> how it is in your families. He loves his dogs a lot. Well, they love us. Yep, they're good guys. And I think if you if you come to grips with that and you want to give them a, a, a full life, then you have the opportunity to do that. So go for it. <laughs>